I'm going to give that gentleman a little love. John Stewart's got a point. I love my colleagues Brett Baer and Chris Wallace, but John Stewart has a point. How is it the media can overlook Congressman Paul's campaign success last weekend? Here to answer that is GOP strategist Jack Berkman. Jack, it's a pleasure. Jack's always well, good welcome to see back you. to the show. Good to be here. Are, are, are you surprised that even though Ron Paul came within nine tenths of one percentage point of Congresswoman Bachman, she first, he second? Uh, that he's not even mentioned by the media as one of the uh, top-tier contenders. Oh, not at all. I mean, this is, if ever, you know, people say the media picks the candidates. Well, this is an example. They, this, is, this is the most uh, uh, grievous and exaggerated example of candidate picking I've ever seen. Now, the question is, why do they do that? This is the two-party system. You know, the media has a vested interest in the two-party system. Their contacts are there. Their people are there. Uh, it, it's a horse race. They present this to the American public, which is, you know, fairly simp simplistic. They like a horse race. They can sell this. It I, works. I remember uh, primary elections in 76 and 80, I'm showing my age, where a governor from a far western state was ignored by the media and ignored by the media and ignored by the media and called an extremist and said he was too old until suddenly he started to win primaries. Of course, that was Ronald Reagan. Now somebody, everybody reveres, even the Democrats try and jump on Reagan's coattails. Don't they understand history? Don't they see how they can ignore somebody? And that might actually gin up well, public the, support for the person. They're doing that with Ron Paul. Ron Paul could be a surprise candidate. I mean, they, and they're, they're doing it to, an agree, to a degree with Bachman as well. I mean, look, it's no secret. I mean, the media loves you've got Bachman, you've got Perry. These are, these are, these are great-looking people. It becomes like Access Hollywood. I mean, all of it flows together. This is what the system wants. But I'll tell you, Judge, here's the real story here. When you talk about how the Washington establishment chokes off freedom, the media is part of that. This is how they do it. They choke off third-party candidates. They choke off guys like Ron Paul. It's not just the media. Think of them as part of the powerful Washington establishment that wants the people they want. It's like the boa constrictor. It's the anaconda. All right, it but, chokes everything. But Ron Paul is good television, and Ron Paul is good for the media because he says things in sound bites, because he challenges uh, accepted norms, because he is so unorthodox, because he is so consistent with his values. Isn't that, quote, good press? Isn't that well, top of the fold it's, for the media? No, because it's good for an entity like Fox News that likes all the right things, and it's good for certain outlets, but the establishment media, no, because they don't have any ties there. You think ABC News likes that and CBS News likes that? No, because if you had the Ron Paul White House, they would be sealed out. They wouldn't know a person. They worry maybe Ron Paul wouldn't have them in the front row. Anything could happen. All right, what will have to happen for the media to begin talking about Ron Paul? I mean, at some point, like the Reagan example, they simply cannot stay credible it, and ignore it. It feeds into the broader question of what has to happen for a third party to rise, and it's very, very difficult. He's going to just have to keep winning. He's going to have to do, but this could be his year. You know, he, he's leaving his congressional seat. He's completely focused. Right. He's the most ideologically consistent guy in, in the history of American politics, bar none. Uh, um, he reminds me a little bit of Ralph Nader in that he's one of the only true believers. Uh, he and Ralph Nader are, are, are probably the two guys that I've seen up close in American politics who are true believers. And opposite ends of the spectrum. Jack Berkman, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Under its supervision, Revolution. the government's operation, fast and furious, illegally 